What is going on, everybody? Welcome to This Merchant Life. I'm your host, Birdman. Notice Falcon. This right here is a really hard game for me to describe. Like, I was, you know, racking my head over here trying to, like, you know, give you, like, a, a similar comparison. But I really can't come up with anything. The only thing I can come up with a little bit is kind of like Oregon Trail. But I feel like that's only skewed because I'm seeing a wagon on the road. And in Oregon Trail, you're mainly on a wagon. But I guess it's kind of similar. Here in the Merchant Life, you're trying to build yourself up to create your own Merchant Guild. So you gotta start from the ground up to build yourself up to that really high estate, right? So what you're doing early on is you're basically traveling with your little horses and your little carriage going from one town to the other one, taking on different quests and also buying stuff at a hopefully cheap price, going to another place in the world and selling it for a surplus, obviously. And you're slowly trying to build yourself up to the point where you could actually start your own merchant guild. Along the way, you'll be running into you'll be running into like, you know, dangers in the road, such as raiders monsters and all sorts of crazy stuff like that so you have to upgrade your cart you have to hire mercenaries to keep you safe and if you guys enjoy this by the way let me know in the comments let me know by leaving a thumbs up in the video you might cover a bit more of this this should be available already on steam but i will have the information down below in case you want to follow it up on yourself here so the first thing we'll be doing is selecting our background we have a couple of choices we have the soldier we have the sailor the stable hand and the scholar all of them have different bonuses, you can see right here. What I went with off-camera was the Scholar. I like the fact that you get a bit more capacity, and you also get Concealment bonus, so... Instead of, like, dealing with fights, you could actually try to sneak by them. Alrighty, so the first thing we'll be doing is, um, we're over at Woodforge. If we right-click on Woodforge, we'll learn a bit more about it. So, what's really cool about this is you could actually kind of track your selling potential. So, for instance, I'm looking at Rondos now, which we're not there, but we could hit there next. They're selling timber, hides, and weapons below average, but they're selling the grain, meat, etc., all these items here above average, meaning if in the town that I'm at right now, I stock up on, say, meat, I could bring it over to Rondo, sell it, and get a surplus because the price over here is above average. So you definitely want to take advantage of um, where you can sell your items for the most buck. So since we're at Woodforge at the moment, um, this will be the woodiest town this side of Oakville, because <laughs> it's Woodforge, all good, yeah. Anyway, a small border town near Hallback Forest, Woodforge is a sleepy rural community with a homely reputation. They're very proud of their dressmakers here and host a market festival centered around them during high summer. Okay. Certain areas, by the way, you will not be able to upgrade your cart. Some of them you will. So if you're looking to upgrade, you gotta make sure you're in the right town. So here they're selling below average the timber, the hides, and the ale, the pottery, and the medicine. Now, if I'm correct, Below average. So if we could buy here and sell in the other place, we could make some money. Timber, hides, and ale. Rondos, what do you have? Mmm. Timber, hide, and ale. Pottery. Oh. Oh. Spices. No. So no timber, hide, or ale. Let me come back over here really quickly. Um, pottery and medicine. Pottery and medicine. Pottery and medicine. Pottery. And no medicine. No. Pottery. So assuming we could buy pottery over where we're at, we could sing it, bring it to Rondos and sell it at a surplus. So now, does that mean that they always sell pottery here? No, it's random. So let's go into the Woodforge now. Let's go into this hub world. I'm going to do an exploration. Every time you hit a town up, you can do an explore and it'll kind of give you like a random event where it could be in your favor or against you as well. So let's do the exploration one first over here at Woodford. Um, this is where it all started. This Merchant Life trademark. Again, the game's really you know, tongue-in-cheek. You've drifted aimlessly after coming back to your homeland and found yourself working in Woodford as a wood splitter, swinging a, a randax to chop timber into variously sized pieces. A merchant came through town and you ended up saving his life in the forest just outside of town. He promised you a trade caravan for saving him and he sure as well delivered. So here we have a couple of options. Drink, socialize with the wood splitters in your old haunt, visit, pay a visit to your old employer, or split, and grab a randax and go split some timber. That would give us some timber if I believe if I'm right. Let's give that a try. You'd offer to help split a little timber. You always found it strangely relaxing. So for this event over here, we got 10 timber straight up for free, which is pretty good. Not sure what the other events do, but they are all random. So the more runs you do, it'll be like different outcomes and stuff like that. Let's go over to the market. And you guys have grain for sale, timber, meat, hides, iron, and ale. Unfortunately, as you can see, no pottery. So we cannot do the, the flip that we wanted to over at Rondo's, if I'm right. So, however, as you can see, the average wood uh, cost of timber is 20. They're selling it for 18 over here. 
the average cost of height is 40, they're selling at 36 here, and the average cost of AO is 60, and they're selling at 54. So that at least is like at least a six plus or a six coin surplus. So we gotta start off small. I would say we pick this up, and there's five of them for sale, so I'll go ahead and pick them up. Now, pay attention to this over here. The more items you have in your caravan, you saw that drop that went up from a two to a three. The more items in your caravan, the more likely you are to be attacked because you're drawing attention to yourself on the road. You could kind of, um, I guess, um, counteract that by coming over to the cart, and we have wheels that'll give you one speed and two capacity. Structure will give us two capacity, one security, and one concealment. And horses will be just speed. I like to start off with the structure upgrade, which will be 500 gold. And that'll give me plus one security, plus one concealment, and two capacity. Let's see if this drops. Damn right it did. So it went down to a two from a three, which isn't really too much, but at least we also got security. So these upgrades will be very useful early on. I usually pick that one up and it goes pretty well. If you go to buildings, we have different events over here. And this is kind of where you want to start saving up your money to eventually um, build your own guild merchant. And there's also like random events will give you more reputation and you'll become more known around the lands by donating, giving money or bringing some items and stuff like that. And this will be the mission. So over here we could donate. Uh, two grain, two timber, and one, I forget what that is, meat. And we'll get two straight up. I believe they sell all of that here. So if I go to the market, let's see, two, two, and one. Yeah, so if I go to the market and go bam, bam, we already have wood and one meat. And come back to the mission so we could donate for a two straight up reputation. And we're up to a seven now. What does that hap What happens when you raise it up? I have no idea. I kind of played a bit, but I didn't really get that far in, so I'm not sure what's the advantage of having a high reputation. And over here we have an escort mission. A letter to Rondos, which is so easy, we'll get 86 gold, and we're going to Rondos next anyway, so we'll take that one up and we'll get two more reputation. Perfect. So now we can hire a couple of people to protect us on the road. So this will be their stat. Security means one is very shitty. Loyalty, if they're in danger, if they're dying, or they feel like they're in threat, they will run away and leave you, which is no good, and their HP, obviously. Um, I don't expect us to run into any danger, so I'll just pick up, like, a... I'll pick up a poor mercenary, and this will tell you how many trips he'll be with you. So, each town is one trip, so make sure you plan this correctly. So I'm gonna pick up a poor mercenary, why not? Let's go back to the market, and now, since we bought all the ale, I think the next thing will be... Hides. So, we could do at least a four surplus here. And we could carry up to 22. I'm gonna go up and just cap ourselves off at 22, which is my capacity at the moment. Now, our, our concealment rate is at a 4. It's starting to get into the yellow, which is kind of dangerous, but I'm hoping to sell all these items in the next town for a little bit of extra cash. And that's about it. So we're done here. Let's actually move over to Rondos now. And this will tell you your travel time and the speed and also the safety. This, um, the UI is a bit wonky where you see how this is actually covering the road safety information, so I'm not sure how safe it is because the travel time covers that, which is kind of weird. But, um, let's go on over to Rondos, I guess. Um, please, please travel. Okay, there you go. And if you hit spacebar, it'll speed up your travel, obviously. So let's make sure we do that. Around the world, as you're seeing right now, things are going up and down, fluctuating in price. So, you know, things are constantly in flux, obviously. And since we had a letter to Rondos, free 86 gold, we got some renown as well. Perfect. And here is information about Rondos, in case you want to read that. Let's go over to the market and let's see what we got for sale and what they're buying it for here. Oh, wow. So these guys are actually selling hides at 24. The average cost is 40, so we could buy a couple more here and sell them somewhere else. Um, ales, they're at the same market price, so it really doesn't matter. We Actually, it does, because we bought them at 56, right? So technically speaking, what we should do is sell the ale, take the small little surplus, and because there's a bigger gap between hides, average cost, and what they're selling it for, we should definitely take advantage of it here. And since we got timber for free, yeah. So you know what? I'm going to sell all the ale and timber here. This will give us a little bit of extra cash, but more importantly, there's a bigger difference between the average cost of hides to what they're selling it for. So if we buy this, that'll be even more money for us down the line. I'm going to leave some money, though, because I want to go over to the tavern, and I need a higher security because we're obviously security less at the moment. Um, we have a guardsman who's two all around. You cost a lot of money, though. So I'm going to actually go with the local hunter. Two trips. Ooh. These guys aren't really that good for the amount that they're asking for and the amount of trips. I'm not really too crazy about that. I guess I'll pick up the local hunter. I'll just go with only one security for now. Uh, let's go over to missions, and we have a traveler to Oxtown. 
And Oxtown's all the way over here, so we have to come down through here, here, and here. I mean, I could do it, assuming we head to Oxtown at some point, we could drop him off there. I guess I'll pick it up, sure. And if we end up going there, cool. If not, then oh well. That'll be five stars as well. Yeah, I'll pick it up. Over here, I could get two more by donating two grain, two timber, and again, one mead. Do you guys sell that here, I wonder? Y yes, you do. Oh, the price is way expensive, though. Do I really want that renown? Ah, I'll just hold off on it. So, let's go over to... The funding for the school. It'll give me one reputation per week. This is a good way to do that. So, if you want to invest a thousand straight up, you'll get one reputation every single week that you survive. And over here we have bridge repairs. This will make the road speed a lot faster, and this will be support town guard. Intriguing. What did you need for this one? Weapons. Five weapons. Oh, we have no weapons to give them, so we can't do that one. Alrighty. Well, you know what? Let's actually just stock up on more of this hide. I'm gonna go up to 22. Screw it. And we're up to a four. That's fine. I'll deal with that. So, Aton. Below average. Oh, they're selling weapons below average here, or potentially we could find weapons below average here. Iron, gems, and silver. If we could find a place that um, is buying hides for a high price, we could really make a good profit. Tell me you guys are. No. Below average in the hides as well. Woodford, what about you? Below average in the hides. So we have to go pretty far to sell all these hides off at a profit, huh? What about Serenity? Below average. It seems like everything in this little town area is kind of um, below average in the hides. And yeah. <laughs> so we kind of went all in. Uh, I hope that the price fluctuates. I guess we'll go over towards Oxtown for that um, escort. So let's go to Archon. And let's see here. Safety, I wish I knew. Oh, you know what it says? It's yellow. You know what? That might be bad. So I can't read it, but maybe if you go by the color, is that it? Yeah, if you go by the color, I see. So we could run into some dangers over here in Archon. I'll do this. I would normally ignore that one because we really have one security guard. But I guess because I'm doing kind of like a preview video, I want to show you the combat. So if we get into combat, then it'll be like, you know, two birds, one stone. Albeit, I'm actually very against that phrasing. You know, I don't want you killing two birds, one stone. How about you kill no birds with no stones? How about that, huh? All right, we actually are going to make it there without a combat. Thank God. All righty. There's also not only combat, there's random events on the road, too. You could actually find people who are down to join you. If you give them some items, they'll also hook you up with different stuff. So there's different events, not only just combat when you're going from one area to the other one. Um, so let's see here. The most important place there is. Let's explore because we didn't do that at the last town. I forgot about that. Here we have Exposition, the black and white bard stands magpie-like, attracting few onlookers. We also have Red. Draped in a blood-red garb, a large crowd has formed around him, and Smart. This bard is immaculately dressed with a feather on his cap. So we have an event over here that will be based on this, um, choices. Let's do exposition. And unfortunately, we got no event from that. Oh, well. Let's see here. Hides. What do you sell for here? Ooh, baby. Remember we got the hides at like, what was it? 26 or something? 28? Well, oddly enough, in the time that it took us to get down here, the prices went up, so now the hides are actually being sold for 44 here, which is 4 above market value. And we got 22 of them. Let's go ahead and just unload. Oh, you see the price dropping, so the more you sell, the more the price fluctuates too. So now I'm selling them below um, value. I got two carried away there. So I'm going to hold on to the six that I have, and we'll try to unload those somewhere else. I mean, it doesn't matter. We didn't lose any money because I still bought them at a cheaper price than they even sell for right now. But, you know, I'll just hold off for a better price somewhere else now. Now, what do you guys sell? You guys sell grain. You guys also sell ale and iron. Okay, iron's kind of hard to come by, but you're selling above market value. Here we go. Ale 60, and they're selling at 48. Uh, yeah. I think we stock up, as a matter of fact. Well, they're gonna raise the prices I'm buying, right? Yeah, they are. So, it's... Uh, I could go up to, like, a 51. I'll hold on to that one. So, we're at a 4. Do we have any more security? One more trip with the local hunter. I did level up as well. I normally like to go with concealment with my first upgrade, just to keep my self safe in the road. So that's piled high. That's more capacity. Where's concealment at? Mm, security, speed. Is it you, or is it you? There we go. No, no, that's reduce. Where, where the hell is concealment? What am I looking for? Concealment, right? Let's see. This increases capacity. I'm looking for the first one because you have to unlock them down the low, the, the line. And there's also unlockables here, but these um, only unlock after you hit junior level or something. This will be for prices. This will be for higher three more slots. This will be for security. And this is for speed. Huh. 
Oh, here's the concealment. Oh, for some reason I thought it was a level 1 one. Alright, you know what? Let me go for security then. That'll also help us with um, on the road, not being attacked, hopefully. So that's good. I'll do that one. We bought 15 to 22. My caravan is at a 4. I do probably have to hire somebody else. We have an escort mission to Oxtown. Ooh, a second one. We're actually going to Oxtown anyway, so we have two escorts there now. Perfect. And the reward for that one's pretty good, too. All right, I'll take that. And over here, looking for grain, timber, and meat. Can we do that here? Yes, I think. Uh, ah, whatever. I'll, yeah, whatever. I'll take the hit. So, two, two, one. Let's come over here and donate. Building. Okay, so we're at a seven now. I, I want to hire some dudes. Here we go. So, you're not exactly the greatest zoo, but you give me five trips, which is actually pretty fine for 250, I would say. Tough warrior, three trips with 600. It's a lot. Let me go with the old soldier, because we're about to lose the hunter. We're at 704. Do I want to do another upgrade to wheels, maybe? I could do that one for 450. We also have horses for speed. Not enough for the other concealment one, which would be very good. L let me do... You know, I'm going to hold off for the next upgrade to structure. I want to get my capacity security upgraded. So yeah, we'll do that one. I'll hold off. So I guess for now, are we done here? We're at 15 of 22. We might as well buy a couple more ales then. Ooh, we're at a five. It's kind of dangerous now. It's kind of dangerous. So, let's see what's happening over in Arrow. Above average hides. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go over there because we have to head to Oxtown for those quests anyway. So, Arrow it is. There's a yellow chance. Almost actually dipping into the red. Here we go. We have an event. Natural. The good news is that the fire... Cr is the good news is that the fire across the road isn't part of an ambush. The bad news is that it is part of a localized fire that is spreading fast. So we could rush through the fire, or carefully pick a route through the blaze. Let's carefully pick a route. You took the safer option and were rewarded with a fortunate escape. Ah, oh, thank god. Yeah, I didn't feel like good about having a wooden carriage just rush through fire. You know, wood and fire don't really go hand in hand. So here we are in Arrow, we're very close to our destination at the very least. Um, there is no exploration event here, unfortunately. Now, I have stuff for sale. Are you guys buying it for good prices? Not really. That's the same market price. I got no hides to sell them, unfortunately. Um, and that's really about it, huh? Oh, we, we could sell a couple of hides. We have six, and oh, that's good. Yeah, let me sell my hides off over here. We're up to 829. There's no cart upgrades here, unfortunately. Tavern, let's see. We still have the old guard for one more, or at least two more trips. I could hire one of these guys if I want to. I don't think I need him just yet, so I'm going to hold on to my dude. Again, we can do another donation here, and you're going to Woodford. Where is Woodford in this world? I feel like we've been there before. Oh, it's a start. Yeah, I probably won't be going there anytime soon, so I'm going to say no to that one. And that's really all there is, huh? Now, is there something I want to buy here? No. Everything is basically just about the same price. So... Oxtown, what do you... You're buying timber above average. Iron, salt, and books. So timber above average. Market. Screw it. Let's um, stock up on the old timber here. Our concealment, or at least our targeting is at 5 now. That's kind of terrifying, but... It's at a 6 now. <laughs> okay, let's hope nothing happens here. Let's go over to Oxtown and we can deliver our goods here. Please, no event. Please, no fight. Please, no fight. No fight. Okay. So, the first thing we'll do, let me go to the market, and sell. Um, 10, this is really not big of a surplus, but whatever. As a matter of fact, we were selling, selling behind. Wait, 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 did I screw up? Oh, I did screw up. I bought grain back over here, as opposed to timber. I got the icon screwed up. That's on me. That's on me. That's what happens when you're doing commentary sometimes. You screw up on the most common things. Whatever, I'll take the loss, not a big deal. Um, here we go, though. This is where... Oh, no. No, this is supposed to be my big payoff here. Well, they're selling beer, or at least ale, at 60. I mean, at 36, and the average is 60. You know what? I'm gonna stock up on this. That's actually, that's actually very good. I wouldn't leave enough money for... Oh, no upgrades here. Dang. Well, at least my arrivals got here. We got some free cash out of that. Um, I believe we also have one more upgrade. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the... What is this one? Lose less loyalty. Three more hiring slots. This will be reduction of cart upgrades. That could be very useful too. Um, yeah, let me do the reduction of um, upgrades for the future. And let's see, caravan. 
I believe we're down to the old soldier, so we could pick up, pick up one more dude if we want to, huh? Hmm. Burly peasant, local hunter. Five trips for 375. I'm gonna take that one. I'm gonna take that one. Yeah, yeah, I know about security. So, that's really all there is here. There's nothing that I'm really too crazy about. We kind of topped ourselves off with the ale. Now we are topped off. We're at 667. Any missions here? Escort to Rondos, which is all the way up here. I could maybe at some point get back up there, but it's not something I'm planning on. But I'll take it up for now, sure. Let's go back to Arrow. A fallen giant. As soon as you round a corner in the road and are faced with a large tree blocking the way ahead, everyone in the caravan leaps into action surrounding it in a protective circle. You wait for the inevitable ambush, but it never arrives. Normally, a fallen tree across the road means an ambush, but occasionally it just means there was a lightning storm or gale recently. There is enough room on the side of the road to move the caravan around this toppled giant, but you can also stop to collect wood from some of the large branches, although it'll take some time. Well, we'll continue just because we have no room in our caravan at the moment, but that would have been like a free um, timber event. And here we are in Arrow where I screwed up and bought this instead of timber because I'm a dingus. Um, luckily for us, we'd actually unload all of our AO here, which I will. Oh, baby. Remember, we bought this for like 36 over there, so now we're getting... We can hold on to it more and sell it elsewhere. Again, you don't have to sell. I mean, you could stop at 60 and sell it elsewhere. I guess I'll do that. I mean, I'm still making a profit either way when you look at it. But yeah, I'll hold on to those extra ones here. Um, and everything else here I'm not really too crazy about. Right? Nah. I'm going to Artcon next. They're selling... They're actually buying... Iron above average, and you guys are selling iron for once, huh? Yeah, let me buy a couple of iron, and we'll sell it over there. Let's see how that works out. I want to keep enough money for the upgrade, though. So we'll do that. Let's uh, move back to Archon. Travel. We should have security. Rafix Recourse. Rafik's caravan appears to be overloaded to the brink of disaster. He concedes when you ask him about it that, yes, he probably did overdo things at the market. But the prices were simply too good to pass up, he complains. For you, his good friend, he would be willing to sell some of his goods for a discount because he feels like a man who did not remember he had just a single bag. Sturdy as it may be upon which to carry his belongings, he has a whole caravan, you point out patiently. Um, unfortunately... You aren't able to take the goods from him because I believe we're capped off, so... <laughs> that's fine. Now we're in Archon, we can explore, which we will, but first and foremost, let's go ahead and sell this some um, iron, baby. Above market value, very good. And I'll hold on to the AO because it's, um, we can sell it for higher. I'll swear for it. 1471, come over here, upgrade my structure again. Boom. And there you guys have it. I believe we're out of time with this one, guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. This is this Merchant Life. Really fun little sim. I don't know what game to mention it or what to compare it to, but I enjoy it. We didn't see any of the combat. The combat is the weakest point of the game, I would say, but everything else I really do enjoy, and it's a really fun little time sink, to be honest with you. If you want to see some more, you let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will catch you next time.